Yahoo! Super Nintendo World. On this channel, we talk about all things Halloween, Harry Potter, and theme parks. If that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. The bing! Hey guys, welcome back. In case you haven't heard, Universal Studios Japan has finally, finally set a date for the opening of Super Nintendo World. <laughs> Super Nintendo World had been set to open early 2020, but COVID. <laughs> <laughs> But, and so the last announcement they had made was that it would open spring 2021. Mm -hmm. And so they finally set a date and that date is February 4th, 2021. We are stoked. <laughs> so let's start with a thing that has basically blown my mind and it's this picture. Mm -hmm. uh, I showed Anna this earlier. It does not look real. But this is an actual photo. Yeah, I, so I actually saw the picture on, I think, Twitter before Tyler showed it to me, but it looks so much like a video game yes. that I just assumed it was like concept Like a rendering. Art. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like when you, you know, the all new 2024 20, like concept car that they've got coming out, like the, the new Honda Civic or whatever, <laughs> and then you get to 2024 and all they've done is square off the headlights a little bit or something. <laughs> So I, you're used to being disappointed? No. no. Like, this looks unbelievable. Yeah. So outside of this, like, there's some video uh, where you can see, like, the coins. They look like they're, they're spinning, but they look, I don't know, it looks like the game. Yes. Like, they look, it looks. So I, real. Like, I can't get over how <laughs> immersive it is. Uh -huh. And then you have, like, Thwomp moving up and down. Yeah, the little, like, spiky block guy. Yeah, Thwomp. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a fun word to say. Uh, but, like, all the pipes and I just... Ugh, it, like it's unbelievable how real it looks. Yeah, like is is in depth and is I don't know immersive. That's the word, only word I can think of when you walk into certain lands at Universal. Mm -hmm. Typically, you know, like Diagon Alley is a great example. Yeah, this looks like that on steroids. Speed. Yeah, just pure <laughs> speed. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Universal also announced that they're going to be selling these power bands. So the point of these power bands is that you can like run around and collect coins and like jump and hit the coin It's boxes. like interactive uh, type stuff, sort of like the wands. At uh, Harry Potter World. The, the wand stations at Harry Potter World. Exactly. They also said that- Ding, <laughs> ding. They said that you're gonna be able to like connect it to your smartphone so yeah. you can keep track of your points and things like that. And it even said that some points are going to require like several body parts yeah. to do the interactive stuff so who knows what that means yeah i don't know i'm super excited anything interactive that like it's just another source of crowd control but yeah. anything interactive i'm all <laughs> in on like yeah you've got me i mean we go and pay 50 dollars for a wand at harry potter like, like every in, time in we harry go. potter world so yes we're gonna i might even just double fist <laughs> power band just have one to each arm ding 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 <laughs> It looks like the main draw or the main attraction is going to be this ridiculous, like augmented reality Mario Kart ride. Uh huh. Um, yeah, like <laughs> you, like you walk in. I, they haven't released too much. There's been like a few press release, like pictures or videos. Mm -hmm. But you walk walk in and there's this giant statue of Koopa, which yeah. is incredible. Mm -hmm. But then the helmets that you wear, like. None of the rides are going to be the same. That's sort of what they were talking about. Like, we're really excited about this. Like, we're just reading about it today. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know what to think. Like, this is a dream come true. Yes. Like, you see, like, the ceiling and some of these pictures. Uh -huh. and, and it's just like, it's all going to be so real. Uh, like. I'm, I, I'm so excited. These games came out when I was, like, little. Like, well, real little. And the way they've described the ride. So, it's there's, like, two tracks. They've called it a roller coaster. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that they had called it a roller coaster. They but, have. Yeah. I'm not sure. It doesn't sound like crazy. Like, it definitely not yeah, flip you upside down. No, no, down. I wouldn't think so. Not but, with those helmets. Right, but it does run on a track. Um, and so there are four people in each cart, and the two tracks race each other. Race. Yeah, race. Race. <laughs> And then with the augmented reality glasses, you're going to be able to see like shells being thrown at you're, you. You're going to get to actually like, yeah. you control it. Like I think, you get I think to the way that they, the cart you're yeah. racing. So like no ride is ever going to be the same. Right. Like, it's just going to be, have so much like 
rewritability. New word. <laughs> uh, I, I, that might be a word. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a word. Don't look it up. It's a word. So yeah, the so the Koopa is the Japanese like I guess how they refer to Bowser. I guess that's what we you know here in America call it. Right. Um, and so the ride is actually called like Mario Kart. Koopa's Challenge or something like that. Yeah. And it's set in Bowser's castle. Mm -hmm. So that whole like oh, facade is going to be incredible too. Yeah. Uh, the amount of times that I've wanted this to happen <laughs> and the fact that I'm going to have to wait so long for it to come here. Yeah. Um, it's heartbreaking. It is, but <laughs> um, it is coming to apparently the next place it's coming is Hollywood, right? Which could be as early as late 2021. Really? Yeah, and then um, Orlando, you know, that'll come with, with Epic Universe in 2045 or something <laughs> like that. I think that was the announcement. Hey, Universal has also announced that there's going to be another attraction at Super Nintendo World, which is Yoshi's Adventure Ride. Um, there's not nearly as much detail about no. this as there is the Mario Kart ride, but it does say that it's going to involve uh, Captain Toad and going on a quest for some colored eggs. You know, the standard thing. <laughs> uh, I'm in. Yeah, uh, we've all wanted to ride Yoshi since we were small children, oh, so yeah. um, oh, easy. I'm <laughs> all in on that. Uh, 100%. And they've also said that both of the rides are going to be about five minutes long. That's, so. yeah, that's, that's actually longer than I would have thought. Yeah. Uh, but the Yoshi ride does look like it has like a huge capacity because it's just like one Yoshi at the other, at the other. Right. Uh, and even though it looks like a kiddie ride, I'm all in. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if that's in the plans to come to Hollywood or Orlando, oh. that same ride. Yeah. Um, you know, who knows what, you know, who knows what version or what we will get with, or with, yes. That is when and if <laughs> combined, we get it. So, my little nephew is going to, like. Die. Die. Like, <laughs> literally, he will have a fit when he sees this. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, it's been four or five years ago. I wish I had a picture, I'd put it like up here, but. I had to dress up as Mario for like a couple Halloweens in a row <laughs> yep. while he was Luigi. Yep. And it was his favorite thing. Um, I, yeah, I have so many hopes for when it comes to Orlando. Like, I want a Luigi's Mansion ride oh, that'd or be awesome. some sort of, I don't know, like maybe a shooter game, sort of like a, a Men in Black. Men in Black have like a. Luigi's Mansion version of that. That'd be awesome. That would be cool. Can you be the, the gooey one? <laughs> Gooey? Yeah, I like Gooey. She uh, she she watched me play the most recent uh -huh. uh, Haunted Mansion, and she uh, yeah, I think she <laughs> I think she. It looked fun. Yeah, I'm all in. So, what are you most excited about to, uh, to hear that's coming to this world? Uh, like the actual one that's coming to Japan? Yeah. Oh, Mario Kart, and it's not even close. <laughs> uh, I love that it's gonna be the augmented reality. Yeah. Oh. That's cool. Uh -huh. Like, and I think that's how it had to be because of the game type that is Mario Kart. Right. But, you know, I've been playing Mario Kart forever. Mm -hmm. Like, forever. Yeah. Like, it started with, you know, Super Mario Kart and the amount of fights me and my brothers had and me and my cousins had. Like, just the amount of times that, you know, you. Oh, Donkey Kong's the best one. Like, whatever. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. We have played so much. Like, the nostalgia level is, you know, off the charts. Yeah. Um, I'm super excited about Mario Kart. What um, about you? Uh, yeah, definitely Mario Kart. I wonder if you're going to be able to, like, pick your character, you know, oh, yeah. with the augmented reality. Probably not. You are the character. Well, but still. I just want to hit. It'd be cool. I, I know what's going to happen to me. Like, <laughs> if you hit the little, uh, the little blocks where you uh -huh, get, the, get the stuff. Um, I'm going to get a banana every time because that's what <laughs> happens to me constantly. And everyone else will get like the, the blue spike shell and just be blowing me up or <laughs> get lightning and I'll be a little tiny. I don't know. People will be wearing me out with those things and I'll just be, oh, here's a green shell. <laughs> 
I'm also really excited about the power bands, like the interactive yeah. part, like to go around and like collect coins. Yeah. And I mean, that just sounds awesome. Like we've talked about many times, um, you can get us with a good gimmick uh -huh. and I don't care. I think they, they talked about an app with that thing too, like yeah. an interactive app. Yep. <laughs> like I said, one on each wrist. <laughs> they have a necklace. I'll get that. I might wear them as, you know, I might have ankle, <laughs> ankle anklet, bracelets. Like anklets. <laughs> I, I might just be running around. People, I, I don't know. But 100%. Uh, like, I. I am anticipating it coming to Orlando at this oh, point. Oh, yes. Well, I mean, at this point, assuming it's going to open in Hollywood first, we're going. Yeah, we'll be in like, Hollywood. Like, 100%. Yeah, I mean, as long as everything, as long as we can get there. Yeah. I mean. Needless to say, we're excited. So, I, I guess, what what do you want to come to Orlando now? Like, like what, what are your, I guess, hopes or dreams of the land that comes to Orlando if it comes. So I think I've seen like concept art of a Donkey Kong ride. Yeah, in the uh in, I, in the in like the the cart with the cool yeah. Go for it. Yeah, so I I played Donkey Kong as a kid. We all did. Like we all did. I, I have more fond memories of Donkey Kong than I do Mario Kart because we didn't have that game for a really long time. So so Sorry. Uh, yeah me too i mean i have played it now yeah i love it yeah but uh, yeah definitely like a donkey kong ride would just oh my god that'd be incredible yeah i like i said luigi's mansion yeah that's like a big must y'all are y'all are gonna love this um i'm really excited to see what kind of food offerings they have <laughs> i hadn't even thought about that before. yeah like yes. yeah like i mean there's just so much they could have so much fun with these things. Uh, there's all kinds oh. of like fun food offerings. Uh, merchandise is going to be that's what I was about to say on point. Like mm -hmm. I'm excited about having some Mario, Luigi, oh. whatever T-shirts. I bet they're going to have some awesome uh, like the little mini backpacks. Yeah, I love those. And, and the fact is, like, if we get more of like a Super Nintendo world, there's mm -hmm. so many other franchises that. We're not even going to get into at this point that yeah. could come, you know, but you could have, you could just have so many good things, Pokemon, you could have so many <laughs> good things that would just really, uh, like. Oh God, don't even get me started it would on get, Pokemon. It would get me, it would get, like, I would have to stay down there. I feel like. I, I would have to live, if Pokemon comes to Universal Orlando, we will move to Orlando. Like, uh, you, Bookmark this. Do whatever you want. Like, put it in the comments. He's like, on camera saying it now. Yeah, so. uh, we will be in Orlando. If Pokemon comes. If Zelda, because I've always thought Zelda would be a great addition. <laughs> if Zelda slash and or I don't care, Pokemon <laughs> come to Universal Orlando. You have a new resident. I, <laughs> I'm there. All right, guys. I think we've got our hopes up enough about uh, all of this. Like we. We're like big children at this point. We love these kind of things. Like, mm -hmm. so we're sorry if you think it's rambling, but we are seriously stoked. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's a it's three thousand miles away, <laughs> but the fact that it exists on Earth, yeah, we're in. So, in the comment section, tell us what you're most excited about mm -hmm. at Universal Studios Japan, uh, and then if you want, tell us what you would love to see come to Orlando. Or to Hollywood, mm -hmm. tell us what attraction you think, or like a concept that you think. Like, I think it'd be neat to just hear everybody's yeah. ideas. Like, that's a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> you can hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you get an alert every time we post a new video. It's -a me, Tyler. Thanks for watching. <laughs>